Hi, my name is Lindsay Knox. I teach oboe at REW Music. The best thing about teaching music is watching the students learn and play. Um, it's really satisfying to see a student break through a struggle that they've been having and just watch the light bulb go on in their head and be able to see that they're learning, that they're, they're learning how to get practice through the struggle and succeed and uh, do well because that makes them happy and that makes them excited about playing music and playing their instruments and that's um, really fun as a teacher to watch. I allow the students to uh, choose different types of music. Um, yes, we have l repertoire and specific books and lesson books and methods that I want them to use, but outside of that, we definitely, they can choose and um, I help them choose if they need help. And, um, and, but they have the ability to bring in music that they want to play from outside sources and that makes it exciting for them and um, they enjoy finding music sometimes online or finding songs that they hear on the radio or anything like that that they want to play. Um, I also, uh, it's also fun to be able to teach these students um, lifelong skills that they will have for as long as they live and, and they can go back to these skills and play music and um, play any genre of music that they want later in life. The, um, in the Allegro of the Handel Concerto No. 1, uh, one thing that's really important for students to remember to do is um, they need to figure out how fast they want their 16th notes to go. Oftentimes the beginning of that allegro is just running eighth notes and so students will start a little bit on the faster side and then they'll get a few, me a few lines into it and realize they have a whole line of s running 16ths and so sometimes they crash and burn because of that and so we, uh, I always suggest students sing or tap their, the tempo they want their 16th notes to go right before they go into the audition room or even maybe in the audition room right before they start so that they will know exactly what tempo they want their eighth notes to go in the beginning. That way they don't get going too fast, especially when nerves are high in an audition situation. Uh, we tend to go a little bit faster than we do when we're at home practicing. So uh, that's a really good skill to kind of make sure you work on and do before an audition. Um, the other thing is to really watch <coughs> and reinforce tempo. Um, there's a lot of mixes of eighth notes and sixteenths, um, da 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 ba, ba da 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 ba, and it's really easy to crush those eighth notes at the end after the sixteenths. Um, da da ba da ba ba da ba da ba. So really work with the metronome and do um, a lot of um, slow practice so that we can get those sixteenth notes up to tempo by time for the audition.